Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Thomas Creations and More, where today is the third part, and I think it's going to be the final video of making a journal page um, for an upcoming swap that I have. Oh man, okay. So, I kind of planned it off camera, um, but you know, this is the base of what we all start with for a journal page. It's just a page that you fold in half. And all I did was I printed on regular copy paper. This was supposed to be a coffee dyed image, but because my printer is running on low on ink, it turned out like a lavender color, but it worked out perfectly for what I had, um, for what I have planned. Um, all I'm doing is putting my um, Tombow Monogu, a new one, I finally finished the other one, um, in the little vase that I have. Um, so that the glue is ready when I open it up. I don't have to shake it. That's what that is for. And so what I planned for the front of this page is to make a belly band. All I did was cut a piece of paper. This is also a freebie from RD Mays. Pardon the noise. Uh, like I said, this is a regular household. My dad is a guitar player and he is strumming the guitar. So enjoy the background music. Um, what I did was I cut a piece of paper, this is two and a half inches wide, by whatever you want, um, width wise. However, I did leave, as you can tell, a little bit here and a little bit here. Reason behind that is, remember, um, uh, if you're going to put this into a, um, signature in a journal, uh, somewhere along the lines you're going to have a hole. So you're going to want to have a little room so that when you punch the hole and you put the string it doesn't interfere with this or it doesn't rub up against it. The same thing for here because uh, normally depending on where you grab your pages to turn you grab it here or here. Same thing you don't want it to be bended so I leave eh, if I had to guess probably like an eighth of an inch on each side. I don't know if you get to see the little marks but what I did was I marked where I wanted the belly band to be so I don't have to guess why I have the glue and up or down I kind of marked it and then I'll go back and erase it so I printed it out I cut it to size and I distressed the edges with this shaded lilac distress ink from Tim Holtz so that is ready to be put down I'm just gonna take my Tombow Mall the Tombow Mono glue um, I love this glue because it works really well. It gives me a fine, fine tip of the glue. If any of the glue oozes out, it um, dries clear, is fast grabbing. And because I had marked it here, I'm just going to look for my little marks, put it down, and kind of center it. And then push it down push it down and that's it it's down am I gonna need this no I'm gonna need the fabric towel I'm gonna put that down so it could come down next throughout our whole um, endeavor in the other video you got to see me um, make the reversible tag right and we added um, lace right and we added butterflies uh, we used this the images on the tags as inspiration so my thinking behind that is I'm gonna put a um, piece of lace on here and uh, did I trim it correctly no I didn't I'm gonna put a piece of that lace ribbon that I absolutely love 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 from um, well, where did I get that from? <clears throat> BBCraft.com Comes in white and ivory and for when I ordered it or when they send them to me they were $8 I think. 8 or $9 for two rolls. One in, in an ivory and one in white. Okay. And then I'm going to take my fabric tack glue that's in here. Where's my glue? There it is. And all I'm going to do is put along where I have the little lace edges. 
flat the edges but where the thicker lace is because this one's kind of see-through where I can tack down the glue the lace that's what I'm gonna do I could also put it on the paper and then just put the glue the lace on top oh I forgot hopefully I just didn't ruin my nails I forgot or I forget that this fabric tack glue is acetone based um, if you see my channel you will see one where I give you a warning about fabric tack glue that's a warning it's um, somebody told me in the comments and I looked in the bottle and it's true it is acetone based so basically it's nail polish remover it will take off your nail polish uh, these are fake nails so I don't know I guess I'll find out <laughs> if it melts them or not so that is done and then what I did was I had an extra tag um, like this one <clears throat> that just had the little uh, layering piece and so what I did was I cut it out I fussy cut it out and I fixed it to where it will be right in the middle of my um, all I'm doing is kind of measuring and yep I think I got it right right there measuring where it will go that's a middle okay there's a mark on the paper well, just because I have this handy I'm gonna use fabric tack but you don't need to you can use regular glue oops um that's the only disadvantage of putting it in this bottle which I love for fabric tack because ever since I changed it over I don't I haven't had the bubbling over those that work with fabric tag know what I'm talking about <coughs> it was three yep that is sure it was and I distressed that as well all along the edges so that's my belly bag I'm done let's see do I have my yes I do pencil I'm gonna take off my marks where I had marked where I wanted the belly pad. And that side is done. <clears throat> Another requirement that we had to do was leave some journaling space. So I'm going to leave this one as is. I'm going to work on this side. And I decided to do a side tuck, which I just took a doily, folded it in half. Put it on the side of the paper. Oops, there we go. I'm gonna put it on the side of the paper. And again, using my marks, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half. So eight and one, eight and one, and then I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, and I have uh, one, two, three, four, and a little more. So. I'm using these, I'm counting the, the little blocks to make sure that it's um, <clears throat> centered. Here I took my uh, two inch circle punch, punch out of circle of that paper that I used for the belly bed. And I distressed it all around, folded it in half, and I'm going to put it right here. The reason I'm putting this here is because the doily, if you know that they're kind of thin, and this will give it stability when I uh, tuck things in here it'll give it a little bit more stability and also when you're changing the page here I took a, another piece of that lace ribbon and I'm gonna put it like this I think let's see is it this way or the other way I think it's the other way mm -hmm. and then I just cut it as it could be and then I'm going to take another one of those butterflies and put it on this side. And that's going to be my decoration. So, if I do that, I have to glue this. I'm going to open it up here. I do not need to be using fabric tech. <laughs> Although I like it, it is more expensive than all the other glues. I'm just putting a little bit here on the edge and again it's going to be one and one as 
why is it the little squares that are concerned? <coughs> I believe it was here. It'll be one, two, three, four. Yep, right there. Oops, got stuck over here. Gluing that down. That's done. I'm going to put some glue. <coughs> <clears throat> on this one. So I hope you're having a good day today. I'm kind of battling again with my back. Well, I battle with it every day. But more so the meds today. My mind is a little crowded, but... You know, it's not the end of the world. I gotta deal with it. Mm. So I'm just gluing that down. I'm gonna turn it over and make sure this side is glued as well. <coughs> and then I'm gonna glue this and I'm gonna double check it's this way. Because of the measurements, or is it the other way? I think I want to put it this way, but it's not. It's this way. Okay. <clears throat> now I have to give it some time because I had it up, and if you can see the bubbles going up, just so I don't have to squeeze. There we go. So watch. And I'm putting glue wherever there's more of the lace detailing on the lace that is thicker or clumped together or the pattern of the lace, however you want to say it. I am putting very little. And like I said, it looks like I'm putting a lot of glue, but I'm not because not a lot comes out. Basically, I'm just spreading it. So I'm going to put this here, kind of in the middle, and then fold it over, kind of in the middle. I might be off camera, I apologize for that, but I have to work fast because of the fabric tech. <coughs> and because I was messing with it, I need to do a little bit of trimming. Okay. Go here. Okay, perfect. Press this way. On here I am gonna put this little butterfly. Because it is at the edge of the uh, of the tape. Oh my god. At the edge of the paper. The oh my gosh. I'm telling you. Anyway. I am gonna put glue all over the back of the of the butterfly. I would have liked to angle its wings up, but since it's at the edge, I know a lot of, it's gonna take a lot of wear and tear. Okay. Off camera I already made some other things. Like this beautiful tag. I think it's beautiful. Tag base. Distress the edges. A doily, half a doily, half of um this one was a one and a half inch circle. Distress that, put a little piece of applique and then the little glitter. And of course, I have put the music paper, some little lace on top, and then I put this on the back so you could have space to um, <coughs> journal. So I'm going to put that there. I think it'll be a lovely surprise when you take it out that you'll see the butterfly. Mm, what else have I done? I had done this uh, envelope. This is a freebie from Artie Mates. Google Artie Mates freebies and it'll take you to her blog. <clears throat> it is supposed to be a brown color, but again, my my um, printer is out of ink, so it did a lot of that color. I added the eyelash trim behind a one, in, one and a half inch circle punch. Put some of that lace and the butterfly for the closure. I made a little journaling card, piece of paper, distressed all around, half a doily, music paper, 
half of the one and a half inch circle, the lace, and the butterfly. So as you can see, everything matches. <clears throat> so now this is a little card. I don't know if I'll put it inside like to include it as a journal or actually make the note out to my partner with it. But we'll see. I think I'm going to put that there. Um, let's see. I'm going to flip it over. I have something to tuck here. So I just cut a piece of paper. And this is a freebie. Again, from Artie Mays. Google Artie Mays freebies and you can find it. I had, this one was something I had from before. And this is just a little... I folded it up. But I it was too bulky, so I'm not going to use that. And so this will be my journal page. Um, this will be the front. Isn't it beautiful? I think it turned out beautiful. I love butterflies. Um, so that will be the front. Then when you flip it over, you'll have journaling space back here. You'll have journaling space on the tag. You flip it. You'll have journaling space here. Behind the paper. Behind here. You have journaling space. And when you turn it around, there's more room to tuck things behind there. But remember that we have um, this right here that... Um, that will go over the page and there's more there's a tag here and a tag there so where did it go right here since this is going to be draped here if you notice that's why I didn't decorate here because I knew I was going to put the, the tag there so again let me give you a little um, walk through. my partner will get this belly band this flip it over then on this page, isn't it the beautiful, the, the um, butterfly here, the doily, a piece of paper, the other tag, remember, the flippable, you can turn it around, you'll see the tag here. You'll flip that over and you'll see this in the back. So I hope that you enjoyed um, me making this page for my partner. I hope my partner enjoys it. And I can't wait for my printer to have um, more ink because I think I'm going to make one um, for my just journal just so I can have as, um, <clears throat> as a sample. I might even do it in this purple because I really, really like the purple. And I still have the little envelope with a little note card and I might just use this uh, to send a little note to my um, swap partner. So thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope that you liked the process video. If you have any questions on anything I did, go ahead and put them in the, <clears throat> excuse me, in the, I need some water, hold on. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below and I will get back to you. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. I hope you have a great day. Oh my gosh. Happy crafting, guys. Bye-bye.